Hello and welcome to another edition of Sparky Help. This time how to perfect a running coupler in steel conduit. Hope you enjoy. It's for one minute of your time to like and share or maybe even subscribe. Again thank you and enjoy. Hello so we're going to look at two methods one to connect onto a box and one connect onto a conduit. So let's start with the first one. How to add to existing conduit when it's already been installed or the piece you have has got such a large bend on it that you can't physically turn it in place unless you take it all down like so. So this is a relatively straightforward procedure. First things we need to do is make a nipple. A nipple is just a threaded piece of pipe which is roughly the length of a cop coupler and you can actually buy them. But here you go I'm going to make one so roughly the length of a coupler. Make sure you put plenty of cutting grease on, thread the length of a coupler, there you go, and cut and most importantly of all once you have finished ensure you have reamed the insides out. As I say you can actually buy them, they don't cost a lot, sometimes they're a little bit more than that, but that's the cheapest I managed to see. Next thing we have to do is on your piece of conduit that you're going to add, we have to add a hole coupler and a lock ring. It's better to put a lock ring rather than a lock nut because the lock nut will struggle to turn. So make sure you've got enough cutting grease and thread this. And what you're basically looking for, approximately about 28mm past your stocks and dies. So as a rule of thumb cut and thread and to about 28mm to 30mm thereabouts because what you want is once you've reamed it out and cleaned it all up you screw the lock ring on first and then the coupler and the thread should be flush with the end of that coupler and you'll see why and then you're ready to go. So there we have our spout obviously we can't turn thread into that unless we take the whole thing down so we put our nipple in, we screw the nipple in so you've got roughly half a coupler sticking out. And now what we can do is we can offer that up and what we do is we screw the coupler over the nipple. Ensuring you've screwed it on so far there's no thread showing and you tighten that up and that coupler will be tight but the conduit you put up will be loose and this is where the lock nut comes in place because you tighten the lock nut up and then that will ensure your conduit is now tight, just make sure it is all straight. The next one we're going to add a conduit with a running coupler to an existing conduit that's already there. Obviously you could put a coupler on but you're not going to get a turn on it. So we've got to do similar, we've just got to put a lock ring and a coupler on the end of your piece of conduit. As I say, about 28mm. Stop, ream the ends out and clean it up. Now by doing this obviously what you're doing is you're cutting off the galvanised, so the, the rust proofing of it. And then we can put that up, ensuring it's all in place, and then we tighten the coupler again onto the end of your conduit, making sure that there are no threads on show, so we tighten it up. That will make sure the coupler is tight. And we'll get a pair of grips or footprints or something on that. I prefer footprints. Tighten that up. That tightens that. That will leave your bit of conduit loose. What you now do is get the lock ring. You can see why you wouldn't put a lock nut on. And tighten that up. What you must make sure we do is they're tight. No threads are showing apart from half a coupler which is all you've done is wound down. As I say what you've done you've cut the galvanised off so this would rust. So here's one, uh, this person whoever did this put a coupler on a coupler that obviously wasn't quite long enough but you can see it's rusted away. So what you can do is buy Galvafroid and make sure you do all your joints. This is Spark Help, thank you very much.